The game and the series were almost over when Philadelphia goaltender Ron Hextall charged after Montreal's Chris Chelios. Why did Hextall do it? He says it was this incident in an earlier game when Chelios knocked Hextall's teammate Brian Propp unconscious with an elbow. What did you see we did to Brian Propp? Uh, come on, I think we owe him something. For that, NHL Vice President Brian O'Neill has suspended Hextall for 12 games, saying he showed a complete disrespect for the league and the game by taking it upon himself to extract revenge. O'Neill added his actions appeared to be a blatant and premeditated attack on an opponent. The opponent, Chris Chelios, wouldn't say if the ruling was fair or unfair. You know, his act of frustration and what, you know, the prop incident he felt he was just trying to even it up. But the Flyers team president says this is certainly no worse than this, for which Chelios wasn't penalized at all. Here we have a fight in which no one was injured and Hextall gets 12 games. It is our intention to appeal this decision. But sports writer Steve Simmons feels the NHL didn't go far enough. For an unprovoked attack, something more than 12 games should have been coming at that time. And it was a chance for the NHL to do something strong, and they chose not to do it. This isn't the first time for Hextall. Two years ago, he slashed Edmonton Oilers forward Kent Nielsen and was suspended for eight games. But after his NHL hearing on this latest infraction, Hextall said this time he's learned his lesson. No question. I mean, like I said, life is a learning experience. and Certainly, I, you know, I'd, I'd act differently next time. And it's going to be an expensive learning experience for Hextall. Besides not playing the first month of next season, he also won't be paid. On an estimated $350,000 salary, that could amount to almost $50,000. Eric Sorensen, CBC News, Toronto.